kawati? Yeah, a kawati. And as you can see, kawatis are fruit lovers. They like fruit as well as all kinds of insects, lizards, snakes, pretty much whatever. Here in the States, kawatis are found in Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. That's the northern tip of their range. They're common throughout Latin America, where they are called coatimundis. Now, this particular coati has developed a craving for hummingbird food. Well, it makes sense that a fruit lover would appreciate the sweet syrup in a hummingbird feeder. And the owner of the Santa Rita Lodge in Madera Canyon, Arizona, puts out early each morning one feeder, a supersized feeder, that's low enough for the coati to reach because the lodge owner has stopped fighting it. That beast is going to have his hummingbird food every day, one way or another. And if the man fills a large feeder for him, then the coati doesn't tear down the rest of the feeders. And besides, visitors to the lodge love to watch him guzzling. He's something of a local celebrity. Hmm. Am I done yet? No. Coatis are cousins of raccoons, and the two of them are a lot alike. Well, the raccoons are nocturnal and the coatis are diurnal, but the cousins look similar, even to having a ringed tail. And both of them are as brassy as bears about raiding human food supplies. No table manners at all. You're never going to get that one to dab his lips with a napkin. The very huck thinness of him tickles you, right? Hmm, now am I done? No. Any beer guzzler watching this two-fisted drinker will have to concede that he's met his match. While we're enjoying him, take a moment to look at those claws. He's not entirely cuddly. He's very good, for example, at tearing down poles for hummingbird feeders if he wants the food. And he's very good at climbing trees with them, using his sensitive tail for balance. In fact, at night, he roosts high in the trees. He also mates and nests up there. I wonder if he'll snuggle up in the crook of a tree somewhere and lick that syrupy sweetness from his fur. How indelicate of him. As far as that goes, it would be indelicate to let it coagulate and turn his fur stiff, too. But it doesn't sound like a bad existence, does it? Mm -hmm.